Avalon Blues. Avalon Blues. Now this song has a crazy story. This recording is like a message in a bottle or like a Da Vinci code. I do that all the time. And one guy, one weird guy figured it out. And I think that's why learning this stuff is so great. You know, you study from two ends. The mastery and the history. listening to Avalon Blues, like, the, the mastery is obvious, like, you know, take a lick like this. Here's kind of how to, here's, here's kind of how to do that, that, uh, this main thing, this main kind of groove. So it's out of an E major chord. What's hard about it is you have to drop your thumb and your first finger to get this hammer on to sound right. It can feel a little clumsy. Mississippi John Hurt, he was originally recorded in 1928. In short, his, his records didn't really amount to much. And he went back to work and eventually sold his guitar. So that would have been the first time that the world would have heard Mississippi John Hurt. That would have been in 1928. Uh, and then, you know, in the 50s, this guy Harry Smith comes along. You know, and him and a bunch of other record collectors, if you could even call them that then, I mean, they were literally pulling these things out of the trash. Uh, all that notwithstanding, Harry Smith goes on to release one of the greatest and most artistic collections of folk music. And this is called the Harry Smith Anthology of American Music. And he essentially reintroduces Mississippi John Hurt to the world. Uh, of these fringe folk collectors, there's this guy, Thomas Fang Hoskins. That was his name. Tom Fang. <laughs> Apparently, you know, these guys are getting together listening to the anthology. And uh, someone brought over Avalon Blues. And they put it together. This is Mississippi John Hurt saying to us. Avalon, my hometown, always on my mind. As if it's like a clue. And with this clue, Tom Hoskins and his girlfriend at the time, they are heading down to New Orleans and decide to stop in Avalon, Mississippi. They find it on a little atlas and uh, happen to just ask the first guy they saw at a fuel station, hey, do you know this guy, John Hurt? Apparently he sends him up the road to a guy named John Hurt. Could be any John Hurt in the world. And this guy didn't even own a guitar. So Tom brings in his guitar. And apparently John Hurt thought he was the FBI. So he didn't he didn't want to say yes. He didn't want to say no. He didn't want to go into any details about did he record, did he not. But he went ahead and he, and he played him something. And who knows what it was. You know, maybe it was even Avalon Blues. He'd have definitely known it was him then. Because Avalon Blues has some really standout stuff. You just could make no mistake, you know. This was the guy you're looking for. Let me just show you something. All right, so um, I don't know if you if, if you uh, caught wind of the the rare radio thing we're doing over on the Patreon, but we're digging into some cool records and kind of highlighting a song from each one. So this is a this is the, what we're dropping this week, and on it is Avalon Blues, a different version, not not his 1928 version. But that's not the tune we're going to highlight actually this week. We're, we're going to talk about cow hook and blues which has the same kind of progression and cadence and, and kind of lick um, vocabulary in it um with a different song with with, with different lyrics it's different lyrics and it's also way later so this was um this was recorded in 1963 this was right when he was rediscovered it's kind of an interesting twist to the story where avalon blues was you know avalon blues was the reason we got to rediscover him, brought him all the way up to New York, and he uh, recorded that tune and a tune exactly like it um, in that same session. In, a, in that same session, you know, Avalon's kind of this sacred tune f for, for people who, who know the story, um, but it was just a tune to him. Anyway, this is the recent uh, Rare Radio drop, so check that out. 